Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gamers. If you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of After Class Mark's Path. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while I entertain you. And let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you are up and let's go. All right. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, uh, shall we get going? Yeah, we need to hurry, actually. Old folks will be making a beeline for the shop before long. Come on, let's go, let's go! Wait. Wait. This looks familiar. Oh, whoa, okay. Huh. So, after class and uh, a place to call home are both using this. Okay, so I'm, I'm wondering if it's like... Uh, CG generated imagery that you can find like for free online, like royalty free stuff. Anyway, yeah. I'm like, wow, are you guys living in the same neighborhood as Filio and the gang? <laughs> you found yourself power walking to keep up with Mark's eager pace. Come on, walk faster! Ha! Ah, easy for you to say. You had no choice but to jog a little bit. I mean, they are built like them. You managed to catch up to Mark and got closer and closer look at his rear, round and supple, lightly bouncing cheeks, rhythmically juggling his swishing tail. Don't worry, I'm right behind you. Right behind him, and right behind him, and low-key staring at his ass. I can't see a line from here, which means we're right on time. Yay! We made it. You have seriously made a fall to the pavement, seating yourself on the sidewalk. Ha! You're not doing that right now. I just ran on an empty stomach. Nobody asked you to run, though. But you wouldn't slow down. You didn't ask me to slow down. You wanted me to walk faster, though. You asked me to walk faster, though. Fair. Ah! Before you realized what was happening, a pair of strong feline arms started hefting you up. You looked over Mark's right shoulder and had a clear view of what looked to be a quaint little cafe. More importantly, put me down! We're getting a first donuts. I don't care if you're, you, I don't care if you're anemic. Just try and stop me. But wait, wait! It, I, I, it was just a joke. Bracing yourself for the worst, you opened your eyes and saw that you were standing right outside a cozy little cafe. Even with the sparse look of Highwell out in the middle of nowhere, a fresh bliss gave the impression of a home away from home. Huh. Huh. Don't. Don't do that again. And don't hold me. Then don't hold me up again. Gah! Why? Gah! Wait. Gah, why is he so hyper? He almost reminds me of... We're here already. You don't have to drag me. What do you mean? Drag... Oh! Mark released you with a reddening face. I got caught up in the moment. Sorry. Ah! You good now? Yep. I'll buy you lunch, too. I guess I'm in a mood today. You really don't have to do that. You're right, I don't have to. But I'm going to. Now you were sure you were blushing. <laughs> okay, as you wish. You just remembered you... You just remembered you planned to eat in the university cafeteria today. But he must have at least a second guess... But he must have at least second guessed your plan to go to school. I'm gonna go ahead and order half a dozen variety box. If there's something in particular you want, let me know, okay? Is he going to skip class again? Okay. I guess I can tell him now. I guess I can, can't tell him how to live his school life. But he can't just expect everything to work out if he skips class like it's nothing. Maybe I can drop a hint or something. Mark took both of you outside toward Bublux, making a beeline for the for the outdoor dining tables. Can we actually sit here? No, not at all. But they are closed, so... And it, better, and it has better chairs. You both sat down across from each other at a small white table. Mark opened the donut box without a moment's hesitation. So, we got two French cur two French crullers. I thought they were called crullers. Crullers. Quillers. One blueberry cake donut. Ooh, that sounds good. Two glazed donuts, classic. And a cream, one cream filled eclair. You pick first. Hmm. See, these are all good, but I prefer the cake donuts, and I love the eclair. I'm gonna take the eclair. You like the ones with the filling, eh? Nice. I look up dehydrated sometimes. Something like this is a quick and easy way to start my day for times like that. Dehydrated? Do you sleep with your mouth open? Ah. Uh, I'm not judging. If, if anything, I'm a little concerned. My uncle has bad gums because he's a mouth breather. Huh. I don't know. All I know is... So I need to drink water before I do, before I do much of anything. Hmm. I suppose that's common enough. Also, drink water if you're dehydrated. Not those eclairs. Y you make a good point there. You made quick work of the donut and set it back in your chair. Seeing Mark chow down on a glazed donut made you chuckle. Like you both went through an adventure and were enjoying some of the sugary spoils. Let's go back and get the other donuts. Let's do the crawler. Crawler this time, I guess. You got the best donut! Excellent! 
I've never had one before, honestly, but I like how wavy it looks. You took a generous bite, eager to fill your belly. Ah, huh. almondy. In a good way? Mm-hmm. Is there such a thing as bad almondy? Yes, old almonds that had cyanide in them. <laughs> you made quick work of the donut and sat back in your chair. Seeing Mark chow down on a glazed donut made you chuckle. Like you both went through an adventure. Okay, so... Alright, so I guess we'll, we'll choose that one. Since that gives me a character update. So we'll do cake donuts. I haven't had a cake donut in forever. They're a little rich for my taste, but I respect the preference. <laughs> I didn't know there was such a there was so much nuance to donut preferences. I teach, you learn. You made quick work of the donut and sat back in your chair. Seeing Mark chow down on a glazed donut made you chuckle, like you both went through an adventure and were enjoying the sugary spoils. Okay. It's rude to make assumption of people you just met. I didn't just meet you though. Is that so? Okay, let's see. Right, so one glazed donut. I'm feeling basic. What a basic bitch! Maybe. Well, sometimes I feel basic too. Don't feel bad about it. I appreciate you cheering me up. <laughs> Is there any, uh... Okay, yeah, I thought there was any variation in that, so we'll just do the crawler. Yay! Alright. What was that? You made a quick work of the, the donut and sat back in your chair. Seeing Mark Chow... Okay. I can leave it alone. He gave you a thumbs up and went for the second donut. You did the same. I didn't think you had a sweet tooth, Mark. I mean, I guess I had no way to know. It's rude to make assumptions of people you just met. I didn't just meet you, though. Is that so? You felt something tug at you, but you couldn't place it. For losses as to what to do, you shifted your you shifted your pendant around to rest on different parts, different spots on your neck. But yeah, it just depends. Some days I can't stomach it. Other days I go crazy for it. Today is a sugary day. I can understand that, then. Yeah? Yeah, some people are just like that. They sure are. You decided the sentence trailing off was a good was a good cue for picking your third donut. Yeah, let's finish up. We need to go. Your eyes went wide. There's more? Of course, of course, there's... He went worryingly silent for a moment. Let's go to the playground. Should I even ask why? Well, won't we be suspicious two college guys hanging around a playground in the early hours? Eh, we'll just explain ourselves. If some cops come by, it's fine. You rubbed your eyes, suddenly aware of the sugar coating your lips. You licked it off lazily. Hmm, sure, why not? Maybe there's some playground equipment we can mess with. <laughs> Something wrong? Nothing, let's go. Hey, wait, jeez. Once again, you found yourself chasing after Mark someplace. Except you saw no need for it. Whoever, except you saw no need for it whatsoever this time. You're out of shape, you know that? I'm full of donuts. So am I. You don't see me wheezing, do you? You need more cardio. Deep breaths, Henry. He's energetic. You're tired. Some days are just like this. Let's go on! Let's go on the swings! Uh, you guys are huge. The swings are gonna snap off. Like branches. Sure. Give me like half an hour, and I'll crawl over there. You didn't. Instead, you hobbled over to the swings after Mark. But once you got there, you felt the, con the contents of your stomach shift. Perhaps sprinting across town with an esophagus still choking down sugary pastry goodness wasn't the best idea. You wondered how Mark's- you, you, you wondered how Mark wasn't hunched over with, ha with heartburn with how squirrely he was moving. We're like, liony. <laughs> swings! And I don't know what to swing on this. You sat down on the swing next to Mark and pondered your options. <laughs> what a rush! He's going full tilt, of course, but is that the best idea? Let's see. Nice and easy. And let's turn the music up a little bit. There we go. You rolled your shoulders and pushed yourself off for a relaxing, gentle oscillation. Aw, oh, come on! It's the best the, what's best when the wind's running through your fur! Maybe when I'm done digesting donuts, I'll go for it. It'll be hours from now. Live a little. Eh. Yeah. Go with the moment. Okay. Aw, oh, fuck it. It's been forever since I enjoyed a good swing. You took a moment. You took a moment. You took a quick breath through your nostrils and kicked off for a dizzying dance of G-Force thrills. Pushing forward through the fall, pulling back to fall even harder. You had to admit, it didn't take long for the push for the rush to kick in. Adrenaline pumped through you like you were getting ready to fly up and touch the golden sun. And you were in a good and you were in good company for every fleeting back and forth. Whoa! Woohoo! Ah! <laughs> you brought the swing to a stop as quickly as you could. Once you made landfall, you braced yourself on all fours and closed your eyes for the rever for the revolting sensation climbing your throat. <laughs> Bad idea. He prepared for the worst, but for unfortunately, it didn't happen. Mark hurried over and patted your back. Heh, fine. I admit it. That was too soon for a swing. Hmm? 
<laughs> no, I just forgot that I got motion sickness whenever I'm on a swing. I didn't know that could happen. Huh. Anyway, you good now? Yeah, but I'm not going on a swing anymore. Let's go on the jungle gym. Ooh, good choice, good choice. I'm gonna kick your ass. Huh. We'll see about- Wait, wait, it's a competition? Standing tall and shining si Standing tall and shining silver, the jungle gym bore the weight of you and Mark skittering up without a single groan of strain. You were happy about this, having wondered briefly if the equipment were up to appropriate standards. Looking around, the playground itself seemed like the kind of attraction to be largely forgotten, stuck in the middle of nowhere. Most people just walked past it to get to the grocery. It made you wonder how Mark found, a found out about it. Whatever the reason, it seemed clear details like that were the furthest thing from his mind. He crawled over to you from the side, slowing himself down. Let's start over! Start- wait, why? For, for a fair match! You're really serious about this, huh? I've got a serious face, Henry. Let's do this right! Alright, alright. You got the impression he wasn't going to budge on this one, so you went along with it. Crawling back down the bottom part of the jungle gym, you stood a good two meters away from the mark to ensure no foul play. Not that you thought he was he would not you thought he'd do anything shady, but your dad always said keeping your guard up was the best way to let people know you were reliable. As f as for how much you followed his advice, well, that didn't matter right then and there. Ready? Y yeah. On three then. You took a deep breath and steeled yourself. What? That Mark's a sneaky cat, but I'm a but I'm proud and wily. Mom told me so. I can do this. Two, three. You both set off for the top of the jungle gym at a frenzied pace. Like a spider, Henry. Crawl like a spider. Grab like a monkey. Wait, what if the monkey has arthritis? That's a mean thing to say if monkeys like that are nearby. And spiders don't always climb. Sometimes they suspend themselves on their head, on their thread, or they let it fly They let it fly as, as a gossamer to find new places to live. I don't like this metaphor. Why did I come up with- Oh shit, he's nearly there! Come on! You expend the last of your energy to scramble up the smooth steel bars and show Mark who was boss. Just a little more. Just a little more. Gah! By a hair! Fuck yeah! Gah! Nearly had it! You did, you did! That's why it feels so good! <laughs> he has a really great smile. Looking at it alone is good compensation for losing. Can we finally rest a little? Hmm. Please? Hmm. Just for a moment, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. I've hauled you around enough. Let's watch the last of the sunrise. That sounds fantastic. He found a beam on the jungle gym that wasn't too uncomfortable and sat next to Mark on the top. Like kings of the playground surveying their land and deciding it was good. Hey! Hmm? Thanks for humoring me. Oh, it wasn't any trouble. Liar. I'm not lying. <laughs> Maybe not now, and I appreciate it. When I'm in a good mood, it just takes hold of me and gets me going and going and going. I know it can be overwhelming for some people, but I honestly got too carried away to even tell you. It's okay, I had fun. There was a brief pause. The birds chirped their chirpy song as you watched Mark grow pensive. I've... I've lost friends for the antics like that, more than once. I don't mean any harm, I just wanted them to share in my joy. Being hyper aside, good moods aren't meant to be shared, are meant to be shared, you know? So I'm glad you so I'm glad you started getting into it, too. Mark? Yes? Um... I was just... I wasn't going to say anything. What? That's so weird. Don't say someone's name if you're not going to make a comment. Hm. Pardon me for trying to console you. <laughs> you're good, Henry. You don't have to say anything. You just being here is enough. Mark. You compromised with yourself and merely didn't say it out loud. You ever wanted to... You ever watched the sunrise from start to finish? Once, when I was in high school. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Pulled an all-nighter. Messed up my sleep schedule. Found myself looking at the sky and questioning my life choices. In high school? I was a little dramatic back then. I was hard on myself for the silliest of reasons. Ha <laughs> Jeez. Glad that habit didn't stick around. It didn't, did it? I'd like to think not. Good, good. You let silence fall. You let the silence fill the playground for another short moment. Uh-oh. Whoa, what was that? Ooh. Ooh, that was weird. This is so relaxing. Yeah? Thanks for making my morning interesting, Mark. Anytime. Hit me up and I'll show you how to make the most of your day. Ah, hang on. Are they in like a simulation or something? Or are those flashbacks? There's probably flashbacks. Hanging on. Morning. Does it matter? He felt uncomfortable listening to Mark's conversation. 
Maybe it was the invasion of privacy, but it definitely felt like you were listening to something you shouldn't have been. Sh should I leave? Nah, this'll be short. Huh. Again? I'm nowhere near the shop. I can't exactly... Fine. Just stay out of my room. Now you really felt like you shouldn't have been listening in. Mm-hmm. Mark hung up the phone. Then he motioned for you and him to get down, so you clambered off the jungle gym. At a moderate pace. Oof. A little bit lightheaded for some reason. Sorry about that. I have to run a small errand. But hey, hit me up when you're done with class today. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was meaning to ask, do you have music appreciation? Nope. Better luck next time. Aw, then yeah, I'll see you after class. Ah, he said it! He said the line! <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Now go home and get a proper breakfast. Will do. Which chicken nuggets will be, will be had today? Not for breakfast, but soon. Both of you wave goodbye, heading for your separate ways. Thankfully, you were able to figure out from where you came, after the whole donut rush. The corners and turns of this town were sure to become familiar to you soon, especially if Mark was keen on showing you more of that Highwell, of what Highwell had to offer. I need to find out if there's a good place to hang out or hang out sometime soon. Well, to be fair, the playground was nice and all, but it didn't exactly scream college friends killing time. Made it! Home and safe. Safe and sound. Hey, that's right. Mark was looking around here. Let me see. You took a brief inventory of your unsorted boxes looking for anything amiss. Hmm, looks orderly as ever. I'll look for lion fur later, when I'm... Ugh! Not disoriented. And still reeling from motion sickness. I need a nap. You checked to see if your, if your alarm was still set. Seeing that it was, you shrugged off your now sweat-stained clothes and realized the rest of you was also covered in sweat. Ah, fine, I'll rinse off again real quick. You took your clothes, putting them in the washer with the others and setting them to a normal cycle. You decided you'd chuck it all in the dryer when you woke up. Nice and nice and quick, not feeling sick. <laughs> ah, peace and tranquility. You fell onto the bed without a trace of poise or dignity. What a morning. I hope that call wasn't too troublesome for Mark. He's turning out to be a nice guy. Or nice enough, anyway. But I can't just ask him about it, either. It seemed oddly delicate. I wouldn't know how else to put it. Aside from that, I feel like I forgot to ask him something. Oh well, I need to focus on schoolwork and leaving, Mar and leaving Mark's matters to Mark. I felt your eyes closing shut of their own accord. Hmm, now where were we, Mr. Nugget, Ch Mr. Nugget Chef? I've been waiting far too long. How do you know you're going to be dreaming about chicken nuggets again? Feeling refreshed after your short nap, you found yourself humming a vocal... A vocal droid? Vocal... Really? Vocal droid? A vocal droid song has been stuck in your head lately. Today feels like a good day! I got to eat donuts with Mark, the weather's nice, I'm, in not, I'm not in a hurry, and it'll probably be a syllabus day for this next class. You take your bag off your back and examine it thoughtfully. The bag feels lighter, too. Maybe I'm getting a little stronger. Everything... Every little... Wait, wait. Every little thing is gonna be up. You find yourself bumping into a large feline man again. God, not again! I need to stop looking at things when I'm walking. It's a hazard. That would be advisable, yes. Uh huh? Oh, Mark's dad. Looking up, you realized it wasn't Lars brushing himself off. A well-dressed middle-aged lion man with a beguiling smile looked down at you. Looked quite well to do. As for me, I shouldn't be wandering around the back roads aimlessly. I guess you could say we're both at a fault. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks or tip if you can, it always helps. Oh boy, you guys are in for you guys are in for quite a treat with uh Yuichi. I had to do a lot of editing on that route, so stay tuned. There's a tennis ace coming up shortly. Anyway, guys, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!